The first clip of this demo video shows an eddy pump moving red mud from a bauxite mining operation for Rio Tinto. Transport rates up to 50% solids by volume and slurry viscosity of 1,000 centipoise were achieved at pumping distances over one and a half miles. The sample material can barely flow out of the cup. The diver operated eddy pump produces over 75 cubic yards of material per hour for Semper Energy's Energy Costa Azul LNG facility in Mexico. The 6 inch eddy pump is pumping over 70% solids by volume at rates of over 300 cubic meters per hour. No other pump can make sand stack like this. On the left is a 6 inch eddy pump excavator attachment pumping coal ash for Newmont Mining in Indonesia, and on the right is a 10 inch drag flow pump. The eddy pump moves twice the amount of solids. Look at the thickness of that flow versus the watery discharge on the right. The eddy pump 4 inch sub dredge was showcased on the Discovery Channel. The sub dredge was used for mining gold under the ice in the Bering Sea. As you can see, it was lowered underneath the ice into the sea where it pumped sand, gravel, and gold. No other technology has ever produced as much gold as the eddy pump in such short periods of time. The sub dredge was able to outproduce five divers. At the end of the day, the sub dredge won the show and was averaging three ounces of gold an hour. The four inch sub dredge driving into a concrete lined cooling water intake canal for the largest power plant in Mexico, CFE. The sub dredge was able to pump material at solid rates of over 70% by volume and up to 150 cubic yards an hour of material. All of this was accomplished with no divers and without having any effect on the liner. The sand was being pumped vertically about 60 feet and horizontally over 1,000 feet. All of the equipment shown is engineered and manufactured in the USA. Visit eddypump.com for specs or call our engineering representative with your project questions. At Eddy Pump, we pump solids, not water.